So David, a 2-1 win today at home to Chase Town. Do you feel relieved or just pleased with a really good performance? Yeah, a few people have asked me in, in relief. I, I, I thought the performance was good. I don't think we were necessarily any better than we were Saturday or how we were the, the week before. I think we've been playing pretty well. Uh, I just don't think we've managed big moments well. Today we probably got a little bit of luck. I mean, the penalties were penalties, but we got a little bit of luck. Um, and I thought we defended exceptionally well. But it, it's relief. It's remembering how to win uh, and win a little bit ugly in the second half. You've got um, a whole host of players you could probably call out today, but I think the one player to, to talk about is Tyler Berry. Makes his, his full debut today and everyone's talking about him after the game. He's won two penalties and showed some real energy up front. How, how good was he today? I thought he was superb. Uh, if, you, if you think that the lad's played a handful of games at Step 6 three or four years ago, he, he's been playing Step 7 football in the Manchester League. Uh, he was injured before he came to us. He's, he's coming on trial and, and played 20 minutes at the end of the game. Probably all the football he's played in the last last ten or so weeks. Um, the cupboard's a bit bare at the moment. We've we've had we you know we saw we didn't have many players. So um, Tyler's Tyler's ready. I knew he was ready. I had no no uh, qualms at all about putting him in. Um, a position slightly unfamiliar to him as well. He can play as a nine. He can play anywhere across the front. But I thought he was he was faultless. I thought he he worked hard. I thought he linked up well. I thought his touch was good. I thought he competed aerially, even though that's uh, that's not his strength. And he closed down, he, he won things out of nothing, chasing lost causes. Uh, he, he really showed, um, and I've said, said this to him, he showed that he belongs at this level, that he's good enough to play at this level. And he's fearless. You know, he won the penalties by going in his body in and um, putting tackles in. And, and that's a, a massive attribute for a forward. So I think there's a, I think there's a lot more to come from Ty. And chasing lost causes is exactly what he did for that, that second penalty, just a nothing ball and he, he goes and makes a nuisance of himself. Yeah, and, and would have scored. You know, I think the lad was very, uh, very fortunate not to be sent off. The referee said he thought he made an honest attempt to play the ball. I'm not sure which one. It wasn't the the Chrysler one. If he did, um, it, it was it was a, a clear red. Uh, but you know, it was all came from Tyler just just wanting to go and win the ball back, um, and not just win it back. He wanted to win it back in such a way that he could then go and get a, go and get a finish on goal. So I think he just scored. I think he deserved a goal as well today for his performance. And you said we've defended well. We 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 conceded a goal early on in the second half and in other games recently we might have, might have gone on and, and sort of folded a bit under the pressure but they, they it didn't feel like we were holding on at the end of that second half we we, we saw the game out really no, well. I think sometimes when um, when we concede you can sort of feel the, the mood I think we can go a bit flat um, I don't think that happened today I thought people were rallying around gene each other up I thought we, we did a lot of the ugly side well if you look at the number of blocks and the number of challenges that we're making around the box the number of headers a uh, number of times we kicked it to Bob Mosley. Uh, all the things that I, I keep telling the players I need, we need to do. Uh, I thought we slowed the game down better than we have done in a, in a lot of, on a lot of occasions as well. Uh, I thought we managed it pretty well. And if you if you think about a couple of half chances, but I don't really remember Finn having to make a, make a save in the second half. And that's because we we worked so hard um, just to just to keep them at bay. I thought what we did didn't do well enough was was retain possession. I thought we worked very hard to win it back. And I thought we were careless, and a number of times we just played long straight passes to back to their centre half to, to build again. Um, I thought that was probably the, the biggest criticism I'd level as second half. Uh, but defensively, in, in terms of heart commitment, desire, all those things, all those things that come for free, that, that make a difference. I thought we had them today. And almost another goal of the season contender with, with Alfie, so close to going in. I don't understand how he didn't go in. Um, he, he, he scored a couple of them against us. And uh, he, he, I know he's got it in his locker. When he picked it up and started running, you could see it open up for him. Uh, you, you could see he was going to shoot. I think he hit it so pure. Uh, he really did. Probably possibly too pure. He had dip, he had swerve, he had everything. And he, he hit right in the corner of the, the post and bar. I, just, I genuinely don't understand how he didn't just, didn't just kind of kiss it and go in. Um, but I mean, the place would have rubbed it, had that, had that flown in. Uh, but I thought Alfie was superb as well. I mean, you're right, it's difficult to single a player out. Um, Ty, Ty's an obvious one making his debut today. Um, but I thought Alfie was, was excellent as well. I thought his energy, the number of times between those two nicking the ball back off their, off their back line was, um, was really the platform that we could then build on behind. And we move on, we, we go to Hensford, long journey to Hensford on, on Saturday. Um, just, I guess, an update on numbers we would like today. We've got players back in for Saturday. Uh, yeah, so, so Sammy was uh, was working, he's down in London today, so he wasn't available. Um, we've got Banny and, and Reeswell Foster, both had, both had little strains, they they could be fit for weekend, we're not sure. 
Um, we've got a loan signing that we've agreed and, and the paperwork was registered today, but it wasn't signed off by, uh, by the National League, which it needs to be. So um, he, he'll be available for Saturday. Um, Tomo's probably a little bit further away as is, as is Keo, but, but we've certainly got bodies back in and there's potentially a couple more loan options that we've, we've explored as well. So there's, there's a balance to strike. We don't want to go and bring a load, try and bring a load of players in when we've got six or seven ready to come back in. Um, equally, we, we, we're trying to get some players in so we're not short, so, so the low market may, may work for us. The challenge we've got, and I've talked about this before, we haven't got a reserve team, we haven't got a youth team, we haven't got a, a side sat there where we can just call up three or four players if we need them for a night like tonight where we're a bit short. So there might be occasions in the season when if you have a couple of injuries like we did on after Saturday, you, we, we can just be caught a little bit a little bit short, but I think the, the quality was there today, if, if not the if not the quantity. And do you see this now as a, a platform to go and build on? I think you probably one of the key themes that you've talked about throughout your time here has been we, we're consistently inconsistent. Mm. Is this now a time where we've put in some really good performances lately and not got the rewards, but now we build on good performance on a good win today? Yeah, I think what, what we've done this season, if you look at our results, is we've... Um, We've probably got ourselves into a position like this where, where we could go and build something and, and not and not achieve that. I think we've we've kind of win, draw, loss, win, draw, loss all, all season. We've we've kind of been really, really inconsistent even by even by the standards of of the team for seasons past. Um, so what we need to do now is, is build on this. Um, we need to to kind of roll forward from where we are today. Um, be better in those big moments, which I thought we were today. I thought we were very good when it when it mattered today. Uh, and take that into Saturday, and then hopefully, if we can get a result Saturday, a little bit of confidence, we might start to build a little, little bit of momentum, and that that, that takes us then into a into a big game here against Clitheroe. Thanks, David. Cheers, Nathan.